Good afternoon, everyone. I'm GPD meteorologist Scott Ravel updating your forecast. Hazy conditions continue today with the smoke around the region. This was 830 this morning. Tide blast view going through the day and visibility doesn't change all that much. Still yellow air quality for the most part. Uh, nothing real terrible, but it's a little worse up north. 84 degrees in the valley. That was at noon. Uh, going a little later than noon. 85 degrees. Temperatures creeping up. This is the view from Long Valley. Ugh. View from Tamarack Resort. Just smoky conditions. Fires all over the place. And uh, we're going to get some rel relief here as we head into the middle part of the week, starting tomorrow afternoon. Showers and storms moving in. In the meantime, it is just smoke and high clouds still tracking across from Oregon and through central Idaho as well. So here's the big picture. High pressure beginning to lose its grip. Still hot over us for today, but look at this low pressure system now beginning to dive south, scooping up moisture from the Pacific. Cooler air. This cold front will come through about midday through Boise tomorrow with some showers and storms along it and behind it and some heavier downpours are likely, maybe even some flash flooding and some of the burn scars. So we're going to get a good dousing of rain likely on some of the fires here. Here's where all the fires are. This is the smoke. You see it's still traveling in this direction, but a cold front comes through tomorrow. Watch the smoke change direction right here and comes racing on down to the south. So Wednesday we start to see some of this Oregon wildfire smoke and even Thursday after the front is gone, we have a chance uh, coming in with this smoke right in here, still coming in, not from Idaho, but from these fires north of Burns again could bring more smoke to the valley. So it's going to get cooler and very comfortable temperature wise with 70s coming in for tomorrow. 60s on Thursday, but we're probably going to have some smoke along with it. Now, when that front comes through tomorrow, there's a marginal risk for some severe weather with the thunderstorms that pop up. Boise is in that area, Mountain Home as well, up through Stanley and up into western Montana as well. So that slight or marginal risk for some thunderstorms that could produce gusty wind, which should exceed 58 miles an hour or the possibility of hail getting up to an inch in diameter. Pretty smoky in the McCall area right now. Hopefully that gets better uh, as we get this cold front coming through tomorrow. I think that'll be the case. So today, low 90s could hit 95 in Glens Ferry. Last day for this for a while because temperatures are going to cool down pretty dramatically. Here's the future cast. You see the clear skies now, a few storms near Riggins. Then this is tomorrow. Midday, a front goes through. It's over to the Magic Valley. By then, but the showers and storms scattered about in the afternoon. Gusty winds with showers and storms. Look at this wave of moisture coming through the McCall area. This could be really nice to douse the fires Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. And this is also three o'clock in the morning Thursday. That blue represents snow and all the higher elevations above about 8,000, 8,500 feet. I think July, uh, Thursday is going to be quite dry for the Treasure Valley. In fact, even western West Central Mountains will probably get some showers and storms developing later, but this is Thursday night. Things have cleared out, so the best chance for showers for the Treasure Valley is Wednesday afternoon, evening, and night. I think on Thursday there could be a lingering shower, but it's not going to be a wet day on Thursday. Please keep that in mind. For Central Idaho, it'll be drying out Thursday, but popcorn showers will pop up later in the day. The lion's share of the moisture from this storm will be Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday overnight, and then it tends to dry on out. So how much moisture are we going to get? Let's take a Look at the numbers here. This is the latest. This is our uh, barren computer forecast model. It's a proprietary software. This is a little bit more high resolution. It still shows not significant rain in the valley. I don't expect that, but we could get a few heavy downpours mixed in here as well. But when you get into the central mountains now, you see that risk of uh, that chance of getting some good rain on this fire here. The lot from the uh, the uh, lava fire here, 37 hundredths of an inch of getting closer. And this is the Boulder fire in here as well. You've got this fire here uh, burning uh, in Southern Valley County maybe 93 hundredths of an inch of rain. This could be overdone sometimes two to one in this model, but there's still significant moisture that is likely at least a third of an inch. So some of the numbers are looking good for central Idaho. The Wapiti fire could see a third to a half inch of rain. That's really going to help knock things down a bit. So here's today dry conditions, smoky, 91 degrees, no big change, but tomorrow big changes. That cold front comes through as temperatures are trying to climb. It'll be a mild morning at 61, but it's just not going to warm up from there. The front comes through, the temperatures will hold steady in the 70s. Showers, thunderstorms will come in, and then a chance for rain showers on Thursday. This 50% chance, yeah, I'm going to change this here in my updated forecast coming up. I just don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It's Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Notice the temperatures in the 60s on Thursday, and then a nice day 
cool day on Friday at 74, a picture perfect day on Saturday at 82, and maybe even Sunday as well. Comfortable and warm temperatures. I'll have the very latest on our incoming storm and how it could affect the fires and the locations closer to you. That forecast coming up in Idaho News 6 tonight at 5 o'clock. We'll see you then.